guys, welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be doing something that's super popular on YouTube at the moment and that is a home bargains haul. We actually have a home bargains fairly near us but I don't tend to go in that often um, but I went in the other day because we needed loads of essentials, you know like all your toiletries and like cleaning bits and stuff like that. Um, so I thought I'll take a trip down to Home Bargains and then I could film a little haul for you all and show you what I picked up and I actually got loads. I can't even hold the bag up because I got one of the massive bags for life that's like this big um, and it's too heavy to pick up and would be extremely crinkly on this microphone I've got down here. Um, so I'm just going to dive straight in and show you what I've got. It's a massive kind of mixture of things and I'm going to do it in no particular order. First things first, I will show you this bedhead shampoo and conditioner I picked up. Um, I have already used this once because I'm super impatient and it just smells amazing. I got the Dumb Blonde shampoo. Obviously I'm not blonde but um, I do colour my hair, so this is for chemically treated hair. I do colour my hair, so I thought it would be fine. And this smells like sweets. It smells amazing. And I also got the Colour Goddess Oil Infused Conditioner for coloured hair, which weirdly looks and smells identical to a Toffee Muller Light. I'm not entirely convinced that it isn't just Toffee Muller Light in there. Um, but my hair feels quite nice after having washed it. Um, and I cannot believe these are in home bargains. Does anyone know? Have they been discontinued? Have they discontinued the brand? Because when I was like, how old was I? 18 maybe? I worked in a hair salon for a year and this was like the in stuff and it was so expensive. Um, so yeah, I was very excited to find this and can't wait to wash my hair. I might pick up some more next time I go just to kind of stock up because they're massive bottles and um, they're 750 mil and they should last for ages and if they have been discontinued I wouldn't mind stocking up on those. Next up I've got this horrible monstrosity. This is the Oodle Bright colour changing monkey thingy. Um, I'll turn it on for you but Wilf saw this when we were in Home Bargains and he loves anything that lights up um, and he was obsessed with this. He was literally laughing at it in the shop and I couldn't leave it. I think it was like 6 99 and he'd received um, some Easter money from a family friend so we thought why not treat him to this horrible hideous monstrosity. Um, it's always the ugly things that the kids love don't they but I'm also putting together a sensory box for Wilf which I will be doing a video on when everything's arrived and I thought this would be perfect for his sensory box too um so I will turn that off um and that is a pretty hideous purchase it's Easter Sunday as I film this and I picked up this for Andrew's Easter present and it is the Haribo chick and mix and you get squishy marshmallows star mix eggs and tangy chicks um so they will be right up andrew street as he is a big like sweetie person um i also grabbed a four pack of huggies pure wipes i know people seem to have really mixed opinions on these everyone seems to either absolutely love them or absolutely hate them we get on with these really well way prefer them to water wipes um and i got four packs for i think it was two pounds fifty ish um so yeah always good to stock up and grab another pack of those when i see them this is a very random haul um i also picked up some foil tissue paper it's just white with like gold foil dots on i thought that was super super cute and i have quite a few friends birthdays coming up and presents to wrap so i thought that would be lovely i've also got a new bottle brush this is the munchkin bottle and teat brush and it has a sponge on the end the one we have at the moment i think it's from asda but it doesn't have the sponge on the end so i think this will be really handy um yeah not much to say it's a two-in-one bottle brush and i think this was maybe like two pounds also by munchkin we've got six of the munchkin soft tip spoons um i've heard loads of people raving about these and i was really surprised i don't know why i was surprised but i was really surprised to see them in home bargains and i think they were literally like one pound fifty maybe um and we've just started weaning wolf this week so i think these will be a great addition to our like weaning kit so I grabbed those for Daisy, who's my dog. We got some little cheese nibbles. She is a cheese fiend and these are her favourite treats. Um, and we've not had them in for a while, so 
yeah, not much to say. They're the pedigree Tasty Bites cheese nibbles with cheese and beef. Well, sounds disgusting, but Daisy absolutely loves those. I've got some new toothpaste, which is the Oral-B 3D White Lux. Um, I'm hoping this is good. I used to have quite white teeth, like I don't drink coffee or tea and I very like rarely have fizzy drinks. The only thing I ever really have that's like particularly staining is the odd glass of red wine. But when I was pregnant with Wilf, my teeth seemed to get really yellow um, and for no particular reason because I definitely wasn't drinking red wine. Um, yeah, so I don't really know what happened, but I really want to get them looking whiter again. So I thought I would give this a go. I think this was about £2.50, so not cheap for a toothpaste. I think that's quite pricey, um, but hopefully it will do the job and brighten my teeth up a little bit, fingers crossed. I grabbed a two pack of my favourite makeup wipes. These are the simple um, makeup wipes, just the kind of box standard basic ones. I would love to say I cleanse, tone and moisturise every single night, but um, I don't. I do try and do it most nights, but sometimes I just can't be bothered and a makeup wipe is all I really can be bothered to do. Um, and these are my favourite ones. My skin doesn't react to these at all. Um, they're really good. Take eye makeup off really easily. Just everything you would want in a makeup wipe, really. And they stay nice and moist. I hate that word. But they stay nice and moist all the way down the pack. So I highly, highly recommend these. I bought a new bubble bath. This is the Imperial Leather Relaxing Orchid and Ylang Ylang. I don't know if that's how you say it. Um, infusions Bath Cream. I love a bath. If you watch my videos, you know I love a bath. And I've really got into Lush Bath Bombs. I've always liked them, but I've been having them a lot recently and it is not a cheap habit to upkeep. So I just thought, grab a bubble bath, try and stick to using this and have Lush Bath Bombs occasionally as a treat rather than every single bath. Um, so yeah, hopefully this is nice. I'll have a little smell. Oh, it does smell really good. This sounds really weird, but I always associate like having a soaky bubble bath with a Sunday, and this really smells like a Sunday to me. Like you get in, have a bubble bath, get out, have a roast. That's what that smells like to me. Um, that is really nice. I think it was like a pound maybe. Um, I got Wilf the Newbie Soft Flex Natural Sipper Cup for six months plus. Obviously, we've just started weaning um, and they can get quite constipated at first. So it's good to just give them a little bit of water with their food. Um, so I got this one, um, which I know it sounds like a weird thing to say, but it's quite a nice looking sippy cup. Some of them are quite like bright and garish and I just thought this one was really nice and it has the little like double handle so it'll be really easy for him to hold. Um, yeah, so I hope he gets on well with that. It's just a little sippy cup. I grabbed a big pack of these Dettol antibacterial cleansing surface wipes. I would love to be one of these people that's like really, I am house proud in the sense that I'm really into like home decor, but I am so messy. Um, I'm a really messy person. I hate cleaning. I see it as such a chore. Like I know people like love cleaning. I hate it. Like I find it such a chore. Um, so anything that is going to be quick and easy is good for me. I thought these would be great for Wilf's high chair. Um, obviously we do properly clean too, but kind of sometimes it's just nice. To be lazy um so these are antibacterial cleaning surface wipes and i just thought these are so handy to have in the cupboard and you can just grab one and job done i got some more teats for wilf's bottle these are the tommy tippy medium flow for three months plus um i think the fast flow ones are six months plus but these are definitely fast enough for wilf at the moment he was on the dr brown's anti-colic bottles for ages um, and that had a much, much slower flow. So going from them back to the Tommy Tippy. So I just wanted to grab some more three month plus um, medium flow ones as we've got loads of the slow flow, which are far too slow for him. We've got some of the very flow, but he doesn't really seem to like them. He doesn't really get along with those. Um, so these are his favorite. So I just thought it'd be good to have a couple more. I think these were like two pounds 50. I grabbed some Pyrites tablets. I get really bad hay fever. Um, and I've definitely noticed now spring has sprung a little bit more um, that my hay fever is starting to 
come out of hibernation, sadly. Weird, random fact. Last summer, I was pregnant the whole of summer and I did not have any problems with hay fever when I was pregnant. Let me know in the comments if any of you experienced that, um, but now I am not pregnant. My hay fever is definitely back and yeah, it's just good to have these in at all times. I grabbed a couple of deodorants, just one for me and one for Andrew as they're an essential. I got the Garnier Mineral Ultra Dry 48 Hour Ultimate Protection one for me and the um, Shaw Men 48 Hour Dry one for Andrew. Not overly exciting, but I think they were like a pound each and it's just always good to have one stocked up for when you run out. I've got some Dentinox teething gel, as I've heard so many people recommending this. Um, Wolf has been teething for months, but there's still no signs of any teeth coming through. And some days he does get really, really like grumpy and down about it. Um, so I thought it would be good to have some of this in. This was like 89p, how cheap. Um, so yeah, I'll be interested to try that and see how it goes. We've got a new like shower gel body wash. This is the Imperial Leather Summer Days, because I was feeling the joys of spring um, and this is the nourishing body wash with shea butter and honeysuckle um oh that smells so good i love anything with like shea butter cocoa butter anything like that smells amazing um so i'm excited to use that in the shower also got a new hand wash for the bathroom or the kitchen wherever runs out first and this is again coconut and shea butter um, and this is the original sauce one. I love original sauce. Their stuff always smells amazing. Oh my god, that smells so good. Yeah, and I think that was literally like a pound, so I couldn't leave that behind. Not tons left now. We've got some mini eggs. As I mentioned, it is Easter Sunday today as I film this. Um, and Andrew loves mini eggs, so I got him a little tube of mini eggs. And I also got him um, one of the... Reese's peanut butter little eggs as he loves Reese's peanut butter cups as do I um but I just got one for Andrew because I'm a top wife like that um lucky guy so yeah got him that also for Andrew I got him some of this ibuprofen gel and um, if you follow me on Instagram you might know that Andrew was in a little car accident the other day um someone went into the back of him at the traffic lights and he has had whiplash which is really painful for him and really rubbish and um, so I got some of this ibuprofen gel that I thought might just be nice to like ease the pain a little bit on like his neck and his shoulders where they're really sore and uncomfortable um, so yeah I got him some ibuprofen gel again I think that was like a pound super cheap last couple of things now I got the scent Ives this took me back. I used to love this stuff when I was like a teenager. So I got some Scent Ives Nourish and Smooth Oatmeal Scrub and Mask. And I'm hoping this is as good as I remember because it used to make my skin feel so soft when I was a teenager. Um, so I'll definitely be giving that a go today and seeing if it makes me look 16 again. Um, and I think the last thing, yeah. The last thing for this haul is just some toothbrushes. Um, not very exciting. It's just a two pack of Wisdom toothbrushes. Um, medium, if anyone was wondering. And yeah, not a lot to say about them, but we needed some new toothbrushes. So I grabbed some. And that is everything for this home bargains haul. Let me know in the comments if you have done one of these videos because I am obsessed with watching them. I don't know why, because it literally is just like a haul of random bits normally but I just really enjoy them so yeah let me know in the comments if you've filmed a home bargains haul lately I would love to watch it and I'm gonna leave it there and see you all in my next video bye guys mm -hmm.